If you fail to stop me, the world will come to an end, great hero. He kicks up a rock. So, this is all I've got? He hits it forward. And it blows up another rock. Enough with the cheap moves. Let's settle things once and for all. You and me, going all out. Very well, I couldn't ask for more. Dragon series, fifth sword. Satanic power, at full force. Be reduced to ashes. Dragon Annihilator! They clash, blowing up the terrain. They stumble forward, and finish each other off. It's finally over. Good morning, good morning. Oh, they're greeting each other. Is that what friends do? I see, this is what normal people do. Alright, starting today, I'm going to make friends and live life as an ordinary person. Episode 1 Ernest. Okay, time to make some friends. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Pretty funny student we've got here. Do you think he's a new transfer? Whoa, he's coming this way. I'm Blade. Alright, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Blade. You sure are a weirdo. I'm Chasm. My name's Clay. Nice to meet you. I'm Jessica. Oh, I'm Claire. I see. I'm here to make some friends. If you don't mind, would you like to be friends with us? I did it! I've got four whole friends now. If this keeps up, I could make ten friends. No, hold the thought. Even a hundred friends doesn't sound so far-fetched. Yeah, if you want to make a hundred friends, you'll have to befriend the whole student body. What are you all up to? Why are you making a commotion in the middle of the hallway? Oh no, that's Ernest Flaming. She's the top student at this school. So everyone calls her the Empress. I'm Blade. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Um, Lady Ernest? No need for the title. Well, it seems Blade just transferred into the school. A new student? This academy only admits those who aspire to be heroes who protect the world. There's no way they'd permit such a late admission. I really don't care about being a hero. I'm just here to make some friends. You really don't care? What half-hearted resolve you have? Oh, almost forgot. Can you show me the way to the headmaster's office? Why'd it have to be me? This is Ernest Flaming. I'm here with a brat who lost his way and was on the verge of tears. You may enter. Pardon me. What brings you here, sir? I'm here. You idiot. Don't you have any idea who you stand before? Sure I do. Please forgive his rudeness, your majesty, the king. I've heard all about you from the previous headmaster, Miss Ernest. It seems you have quite the excellent record. Oh no, I have a long way to go. Excuse me, what do you mean by previous headmaster? Indeed, as of today, I will be acting as the new headmaster here. Your majesty is? I hear your majesty is quite the accomplished warrior. To be instructed by your majesty himself. I find myself lacking words to express my joy at the sheer honor. I could never have imagined I would get a chance to speak with your majesty. That's enough. You may take your leave. I must speak of him in private. What? What's the deal with that boy? He's so friendly with his majesty. Hey, thanks to you, I've gone on her bad side. What could be the reason? Don't give me that. And what are you doing here anyway? You see, Blade? I want you to regain your powers as a hero. I want to be an ordinary person, normal as can be. The students here are really something. They should serve well in your rehabilitation. You're not listening, old man. I plan on making sweeping changes to the curriculum as well. My predecessor had a bit of a lenient streak. We're trying to nurture heroes here. Great heroes, like you. There's no need for that. The Demon King is gone now. I received reports of the great hero and the Demon King trading blows, resulting in mutual annihilation of their powers. But I have faith. The great hero's powers will be resurrected. And that's because you are the great hero. Ha ha ha. This old man's gone off the deep end. We see people working out. Why are you here? This is the advanced class. I took the exam for the lower classes, but I was told to come here. Did you bribe someone? Did you gain backdoor admission into this school? You must have cheated somehow to be placed straight into the advanced class. Besides, this isn't the Akan Academy that admits half-hearted people like you. Don't call me half-hearted. I'm dead serious about making a hundred friends here. I'm Blade. Let's be friends. I'm Blade. What do you want? I'm Blade. Let's be friends. I'm Blade. Hey, listen to me. I'm listening. Don't pat my head. 
Huh? Whoa. The instructor has asked everyone to assemble. I'm Blade. He's asking for your name. Is that a command? She's always like this. I'm Blade. Sophie. I see. I'm Blade. Nice to meet you. Instructor, I'd like to test the transfer student's ability. Well, that wasn't in today's lesson plan. You don't mind, right? Go ahead. That's made of enchanted metal, right? And what if it is? Just so you know, simply slicing through it is something all the advanced students can do. Your job is to prove yourself to everyone here. If you can't, I'll have you admit to your illicit entry and leave the academy. The advanced class is on a whole different level. How many levels are we talking? Uh, well, two. No, three. It's three whole levels different. I see. Three levels, huh? Then, second sword should do. He charges up. Wait. The shape of his fighting spirit. Dragon series? Wait. Dragon eater! It starts to rip her clothing. And it busts through the wall. What happened? Cough. Hmm. Meh. Blade. Who in the world are you? Everyone is shocked. I'm ordinary. Just your exceedingly average ordinary person. No, the best thing they serve is their hamburger. Hey! Seriously, what's your deal? Like I said, I'm just ordinary. Hey, there are seats over here. Hey, over here. They shake their heads. What's gotten into them? This table is basically reserved for me. Wait, are you being bullied? You can talk to me about it. You're a real moron. Everyone's scared of me. Scared of you? Why? Whoa, what is this? I'm not sure what it is, but it's great. Huh? It's just curry. Tonkatsu curry. So it's called tonkatsu curry? Tonkatsu curry is super amazing. I take back what I said about you. What was that again? I mean when I accused you of illicit entry here. Did you say that? Of course I did. It's been bothering me and you don't even remember? Since I don't remember, you shouldn't let it bother you. I admit you've got a bit of talent. So, well, I'm sorry. Did you say something? I swear, you're so... You have my thanks. You've done so much to help me. What's this all of a sudden? I'm a new transfer, right? I thought I wouldn't be able to make any friends. Friends? Who? Wait, me? Yeah, look, we're eating lunch together. That makes us pals. Well... I don't mind being your friend. That was easy. The princess is so quick to fall. Ugh. Seriously, what's with him? Eating together makes you friends? Friends, he said. I'm so happy. My very first friend. Her sword begins to shake. Huh? Whoa. Surrender yourself to me. She grabs it, and her hair turns red. Destroy. Slash. Burn. Shut up. I'm the next head of the Flaming Family. I won't give in to the likes of you. Leonard, take this fight seriously. Dear me, we may be simulating a real fight, but I'd rather not wield my lance against a lady. He charges up his lance. Wow, so awesome. It's time for the show to begin. She smacks him away. How merciless. It seems I've lost. Ernest? Wait. Huh? The Empress has been kind of scary lately. Next. If you continue like this, she rushes forward and they exchange blows. And they continue. She hits her with a fire attack. I admit defeat. You're next up, Blade. Huh? Me? That dragon series of yours is no big deal if I dodge it. I mean, I don't mind. But will you be alright in that condition? Shut up. I'll be fine. Let's go. Huh? Oh, oh no. Hey, Ernest. She passes out. There's nothing I can do. Don't say that. Make her better, like you did for me. I can deal with diseases and injuries, even from the brink of death. But spells and curses are outside of my expertise. Where am I? You passed out. Don't you remember? Don't tell me. Just calm down. Did I, um, do something? Something really awful? No, you just suddenly fell unconscious. It was really awful carrying you here. You dummy. I'm not that heavy. You should rest a little longer. Stop. I feel better now. No, get back in bed. It seems like Ernest feels okay, so why not let her go? I'll keep an eye on her instead. Fine, that's a promise. Seriously? I can walk on my own. You can lean on me, you know. 
We're friends after all. Don't tell anyone what you heard in the infirmary. Hmm. Looks like I owe that old man now. Not that I mind. He walks in a room and starts up a computer. There we go. Rosewood Academy's data. So that demon sword's name is Asmos Deus? Don't know why, but it gives me the creeps. A robot attacks him. Quiet down. Hmm. I see now. Why do you want to talk in private? Are you trying to threaten me? Huh? Why would I threaten you? Maybe you want my spot as top student. I couldn't care less about that. What's more important is you. I'm interested in you. What? Wait, that's... Well, I said we could be friends, but anything more is... I know the secret behind your sword. Huh? That sword has its own will and grants its owner tremendous power. But you don't have full ownership of it. How did that happen? When I was six years old, I unknowingly laid my hands on a cursed demon sword in the flaming family's custody. It tried to take over my body, and the demon sword's will flowed through me hungering for blood and carnage. Ever since, I've been holding back those urges. As soon as I let my guard down, I can hear it still, to this day. The voice of Asmos Deus, begging me to let it slash and burn. There is a way. I know, I need the demon sword to acknowledge me as its owner, right? But I can't do it. What if I fail? Then a bloodthirsty demon would come to life. It'll be okay. What? How can you say something so irresponsible? If the demon comes to life? Like I said, it'll be okay. If that happens, I'll cut it down. That's... Don't think I can do it? I think you can. Let's do it. Demon Sword Asmos Deus, I am Ernest Flaming. I beseech thee to form a pact with me. Obey thy oath from days begone, and receive my being within thy own. Try my strength. See if thou can consume me. So be it. I have faith in you, Ernest. I have faith as well, that you'll bring this all to an end, no matter what happens. I'll keep it brief. Submit yourself to me. I am fire. I am power. I am pure violence that reigns over all destruction. Looks like it means a fight then. Bring it on. Destroy. Kill. Burn. What fun. I don't have to hold back. Not when there's so much to destroy around me. My house. My family. My friends. He knocks it away. That's right. I can fight now. Thanks to him. Even if I fail, I know he'll take it down. Which is why I'll fight. For the sake of my own pride. My name? My name is Ernest. Ernest Flaming. She falls from the sky. He catches her. I made it back. Welcome back. What? Really? Good morning. Whoa. Everyone is shocked. Does it look weird on me? You look quite splendid. Yeah. I see. Thank you. Then the episode ends. Some personal thoughts. They really crammed in a lot this episode. It almost gave me whiplash. Not a bad episode though. I feel like it's going to be a fun watch. Before they explained it, I thought the demon and the sword was going to be the demon lord. Maybe he survived somehow. But obviously it wasn't that. This show has an etchy and harem tag. And I can definitely tell. Some of the scenes were just straight up close-ups on her chest. We'll have to see how they integrate that in the future. Is it always going to be that in your face or not? Who knows? A decent first episode. I'm looking forward to next week, but that's about it. So yeah, 